useless junk. Again, you're disregarding other people's possessions, Michael. That's not very nice. Well, I disregard them as well if I can't actually pick them up. Alright. Some other pretty pictures. Aww. Thomas gave the paper had some markings on it, so I grabbed it to have a closer look. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so you can definitely tell Michael is the very inquisitive type. Right, and, uh... Hmm, crap, can I not do it yet? I guess not. <laughs> You'll see what I was talking about. Ah, here we go. Pick up this pencil. Right. Here's a clue here, right? You see, a, we just saw that outside, right? And here's a key hanging right above this vase. Hmm. Alright. Uh, into the uh, toilet here. Mm, here we have some random uh, picture of the house. Picture of the previous one. Have you guys ever noticed, by the way, in these sort of, like, really horror-themed, you know, point-and-click games, you know, Amnesia, The Dark Descent, and the Penumbra games are like this as well, they never show any actual, you know, human beings. Maybe they don't want to... Maybe they're, like... They cost a lot to develop, and because these games are usually indie uh, games, and... But, yeah. Somehow it really does add to the experience, I think. So, I'm not complaining, I'm just making an observation. Right. Also, look at this picture. You see that purple blotch right there? That's n it's. You'd think that was like a hint that something's there, but it's not. It's just a random purple blotch. It has nothing to do with the story. Alright, what's this? Appears to be a picture of the basement opened. Hmm. And I'm already getting freaked out <laughs> a little bit. This game is scary as shit. I'm serious. Like, I don't recommend you guys watch this Let's Play at all. You know, I recommend you go out and buy this game. Because, like I said, you know, it's just basically pictures on top of each other and that. You know, it's not hard to run at all. Right, anyway. Hmm, that vase is not there anymore. Where on earth could it be? Oh, and sometimes sometimes it does that. By the way, do you see that? Sometimes it will go like whoop, and right up into the ceiling or something. That gives me the impression that the main character's like heard something, and he wants to, you know, he shifts his, he turns his neck really sharply, and like, wait a minute, this vase, we know what this vase is. That's the one in the picture. So. I don't know what. Oh, what? The, key, the key's supposed to be in there. Oh, and they do this is some sort of, like, you know, scripted event where you can't actually pick the key up yet. You've got to wait for something to happen, and then you can come back and pick it up. Oh, God. I hate when, sh I hate when they do shit like that, you know? Oh, wait. That's what you do. You have to open the fucking blinds and... Yeah, now I can get it. We have a key! We have a key! And if I remember correctly, this is a key to the basement. Let's have a try. Yep. Okay guys, seriously, just listen, alright? Just, just listen. How much do you want to get the fuck out of here? <laughs> like, it's scary as shit. Right, and 
You can't do anything with those switches. As already stated, we don't have any power than it. The atmosphere is dense and claustrophobic. You're goddamn right it is. Right, I don't think there's anything left to pick up in here. So let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, you might think, you know, what was the point of finding a key to unlock this thing? You'll find out soon enough. <laughs> right. Now let's explore the um, upper level of the mansion. Right, we'll start through this bit of the hallway because, um, you know, that was the that's our room right there. So first we'll go here. This was this must have been the previous couple's bedroom. Uh, you may find something useful in there. Ra a random pocket watch that you can interact with for some reason. broken frame that holds no meaning. Drugs. Can't remember what the drug was. It's something important anyway, but Michael doesn't tell you, so I'm not gonna tell you. It appeared that the people who lived in the house were very well educated. Of course they were. Here's a mirror that we can interact with for some reason. Right. Now, there was a, there was a hint system in this game, right? And, like, how it works is that when you leave a room without um, finding something important, the game will tell you, you know? And this is what... This had me in this room for ages, and then I finally found it. It's this right here. You see these hinges? You see the hinges? What you gotta do is... <gasps> Yay! Alright, and we don't know the combination, so we can't open it. And some of you may be thinking, wait a minute, we found a stethoscope in the other room, maybe we could use that! Well, no. Uh, that doesn't work. <laughs> You'll... we find out later, though. Anyway, now on to one of the definitely more interesting rooms in the house. I was unusually surprised after entering this room. It was some kind of gallery, its theme being African culture. And as you guys might remember, that dude in the journal, if you were reading, went to Africa, so he has a lot of shit. Uh, let's see, I'm going to make, yeah, this is a thing with submitting it to a museum and shit. Uh, no, wait, I'm not, done, I'm not done exploring that yet. Hit flask, telescope, map. Yeah, the guy seemed to really like Africa. <laughs> Nothing really there. Amazingly, I think this was only this was made by two guys, you know. Like I don't know, maybe they had some third party help here and there, but come on, Jesus. All right, tiger. Odd, there appears to be a mask missing. I wonder what that could mean. Hm. Oh well. Uh, yeah, I th think we're done here. Yeah, we're done here. And off in this direction. We can go up to the... Uh, third floor if we want to, but first we'll stop in the toilet. I believe there's something important to get- Wait a minute, I think I may have missed something. No, I didn't. Or did I? Couple of towels in the back- in the bathroom, yeah. Uh, 
Ah, I think there was something down in the basement that I missed. That you need. Um, yeah, I'll have to go back and get that. But first, let's go through these drawers, see if we find anything useful. No, wait, there it is there. Cloth. Yeah, we need that. And there was absolutely nothing useful in that whatsoever. Let's see, yeah. Uh, the water's not running. Lovely stained glass windy. Right, yeah, this this toilet needs done up and all. Like, it's affy minging. <laughs> Right, um, before we go up to the third floor, I think we're going to stop there. I really want to see how this recording has came out. Make sure you guys can, you know, read the fucking uh, text and shit. But, uh, yeah, that's that, guys. Mm, let's examine these real quick. Eh, nothing to them. Anyway, see you after, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.